Ah, oh, kabam. When will you ever learn? Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Box 12 here. And I've done a lot of character guides in the past now. I think about, I mean, like five or six or something like that. I don't know. Um, so I, but now I've finally decided to move on to item guides. And today we're going to be talking about rings. And the reason that I chose rings to talk about today is because rings are the universal item. Any character can wear any ring and they're all, it doesn't like, it doesn't matter what you, how you play rings are, they're always your friend. It doesn't really matter. And so that's why I wanted to start with rings. It's kind of a more simple video. And then as we go on, we'll get to comparisons of armors, um, abilities and weapons. <clears throat> okay. So right now, before we jump into the UT rings that everybody knows and loves, we're going to talk about the exalted rings. Now, exalted health and exalted defense. Sorry, I have something in my teeth right now. It might sound a little weird. Um, exalted health and um, defense are the two most common exalted rings to use. Um, I prefer health because whenever you take a look at the... Like, let's put this on real quick. I have 63 def with this plus 8 on. Now, let's think about that real quick. For every de for every defense that you have, you reduce that much, you reduce one more damage off of the enemy's attacks. It, think about that. Would you rather reduce 8 or have plus 140? Think, I mean, just think about the numbers there for a second. If you don't have an exalted health ring, then yeah, use exalted death. But if you had to choose between one or the other, having more HP is better than having only a little bit more of a death. Yeah, 8 death is a lot, but I would rather have a balance, like with the pyramid ring, as 4 death plus 100 HP. So there's a little bit of a balance there, and that's why I prefer more health over defense. Um, yeah, that, those are the exalted rings. Um, the, I used to use Exalted Health a lot, and I probably still would if I didn't have so many freaking Pyramid Rings. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the Lonely Experimental Ring that drops from the Mad Lab from both bosses. So it gives you 60 HP, 60 MP, 4 VIT, and 4 DEF. 4% 4 frame bonus. And now this is where um, opinions really play a key, a key role in deciding what ring that you want. So let's let's look back over here. Okay, so let's think about those numbers really quick. There's a, an amazing balance with this ring. It's 60, 60, 4, 4. So you get a balance of HP, MP. So it's good on really any class, um, except I would say not the warrior because MP is really not good on the warrior because you find yourself always having mana because the helmet does not really cost much and there's an interval of time where you cannot use it. Excuse me. Four seconds on the jug, you have to wait before you can use it again, and then your wisdom is kicking in, replenishing it, and if you have a pet that replenishes your MP, you're going to have it back really quickly. <clears throat> so a character like that, I would say, Expo's not good on. Aside from that, take a character like the Paladin, for instance. More HP and MP is great, because now you have more HP to regenerate with the MP that you use to activate your seal. Plus the 4 Vit and 4 Def, which is the two lowest stats on the Paladin. Um, so 4 Vit would definitely help, and 4 Def would help. That's why Expo is kind of all-around good guy. You can't really go wrong whenever you pick Expo. It's, it's pretty much going to help every single character that you make, no matter what it may be. Whether it's Trickster, or Huntress, or Archer, or Wizard, or Knight, whatever it may be, it's going to help your character fundamentally, exponentially. It's, it's, you can't go wrong with it. Let's move on. Compare that to the Ring of the Nile, where we also have a very balanced 60-60-4-4. HP and MP, but instead of Vit and Def, we have Speed and Dexterity. So say we put that on a character like the Rogue, or the Trickster, or the Assassin, who already has a large amount of Speed and Dex, you're now increasing their potential a lot. <laughs> put that on a character like the Knight who's generally slow in both speed and dex. You're now giving them a little bit of a boost. And plus the HP and MP, now you can stun more and you have a little bit more HP. Personal preference, but I think that this ring is very good, especially on characters with high dex and speed. If you embrace their speed and dex with more, they become even more overpowered. Especially if we're talking about getting DPS in, take a character, let's just, we'll use the Trickster for instance. 65 attack, 
um, 75 speed and 75 dex. You now add that, they have a balance of 79-79. Now they're running faster, getting more damage in with their dagger. But if you put that on, say, somebody like the knight, 50 and 54 really does not make that much of a difference because it's already so slow. It's whenever you get up into the really high numbers that it really just starts to accumulate over time. Now for a moment, let's compare these two rings really quick. Now, I'm on my paladin right now, so let's see. Let's put the Nile on right now. So we have the same amount of HP and MP as the Expo. I don't know why it's changing. It should just be the same every time. But now we are making him faster in terms of speed and dex. Now, this is good because the Candy Coated removes 10 dexterity, so now it's only minusing 6, which is good. Um, but if we put this on, he's now a little bit more tanky. So it's really a matter of combinations. Since I'm wearing Candy Coated, if I put this on, I now can get a little bit more damage in. If we put the Expo on, I'm now a little bit more tanky. But that's the reason that I put Candy Coated on, to become more tanky. If I put this on, I'm over tanking. I'm over tankinizing? I'm over tanking myself? I don't know. I'm over tanking myself, and I'm making myself too tanky. And that's not what I want. I don't want to be on warrior status. I mean, it's great, but if I'm sacrificing getting my drops, well, then it's almost no. there's almost no point. So putting on the Nile kind of adds a balance to it, especially with Oreo on, you get a 5%, not 5%, a 5 plus 5 speed bonus, so now you have 59 speed. It's very good, and it also it looks pretty nice with that set. But hey, it's personal preference. You can pick Expo, you can pick Nile. I don't really care which one you pick. You could pick X and F, and I, you know... Hey, good for you. You know what? That's great. So, since Nile and Expo are very similar to each other, it's very difficult to tell which one is better. Now, in terms of Sphinx and Pyrrha, which are both very similar to each other, I think we can all agree which one is better. But just in case we can't, I'm going to go over it really quickly. Okay, so Ring of the Sphinx, we have 4 Wisdom, 4 Dex, and 100 MP. Now wait, isn't there something missing? Like, something we've been hearing the whole time. Let's take a look at Expo. We get, oh, okay, 60, 60 HP, 60 MP, and over here, 60 HP, 60 MP. And then, uh, what? No HP? Yeah, I, you know, you might overlook it the first time. Think 4 Wisdom, 4 Dex, 100 MP. Okay, this is somebody that, you know, is a mana-heavy class. And so say, take somebody like the Priest, wearing a Ring of the Sphinx. Wow, now you can heal, like, four times in a row or something if you have a good pet if you have a lot of wisdom and a lot of mp now you can just heal and get all of your hp back but think about it you're sacrificing like 60 or 100 hp and if you're not maxed on life that's kind of low and if especially if you're going to put this on somebody like the priest they're going to have really low hp they're going to be incredibly squishy now yes they're ranged so that's why that they were made squishy but don't you like just having that comfort pillow of HP on you. I mean, that sounds weird. What the? All right. Anyway, it's a nice little comfort pillow. Pyramid gives you that 100 HP and four death. So that's two comfort pillows of, you know, reducing, of not dying faster, basically. This one has zero. Zero comfort pillows. Unless you put it on somebody like the Necro of the Priest, then you, you have their special ability. But if you get, like, quieted, all that's just boom, down the drain. It's kind of like a knight with their defense, but if you get armor broken, all that death for nothing. But that's a different story because, well, actually, it's kind of the same story. But anyway, moving on. So 4 Wisdom, 4 Dex, 100 MP. It's a good idea, and I guess that they had to do it because this one's kind of for a speedy ring, this one's for a mana ring, this one's for an HP ring. So they kind of had to do the balance, but nobody really likes Sphinx. It's, it's a cool ring. No doubt, some people really like it on the Assassin, because if you give them an extra 100 MP, you can give them more of a chance of throwing their poison in. And the more poison, the more drops, the more damage. You know the little story. Alright, now let's compare that to Ring of the Pyramid. Said to be the best ring in the game, and was actually originally, I believe, the most expensive item in the game. Um, I'm not sure what it was around a year ago, but I know that about six months ago it was 10 life before uh, everything got soulbound. And 10 life is quite a bit. That's that's more than a jug is worth. And that's more than uh, conflict is worth. And those are those are expensive items. I mean, let's let's be honest. Uh, but now pyramid rings go for like 1 to 3 life. 
whenever UT trading comes back because white bags are incredibly common now. And something take something like the Conflict or the Augmer, that comes once every realm. There's only, well actually Skull Shrines come many times, but Lost Lands only comes once per realm. And the chance of it dropping is incredibly slim as it is. I've only gotten two, I think, from the Lost Lands before. Incredible, amazing, you feel great whenever it happens, um, but it is incredibly rare. And that's why it's so expensive. Anyway, I'm not giving you a whole backstory on Lost Lands, what am I doing? We're talking about rings here. Ring of the Pyramid. 4 attack, 4 def, 100 HP. Okay, so let's think. 4 attack. Okay, so this is for somebody who has high attack, so immediately start thinking, wizard, archer, warrior. 4 def. Oh, hey, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. 4 def is always good. A ring with def is my friend. 100 HP. Alright, so like I said before, we have the, dover, the, have, we have the double comfort pillow. Plus four attacks, so not only can you be defensive, you can also be offensive. That is why I love Pyramid so much. Because you can be two things at once, and none of the other rings can do that. Unless, of course, you have, like like I said, Ring of the Sphinx on somebody like the Priest. It's a mana, it's a magic ring. You know, you put it on, now you have more magic. And it's not anything else, unless the Priest uses his ability. Boom, now he's a health class as well. But aside from that, and the Necro... Ugh, I'm getting off topic. Ring of the Pyramid can be can make any every class two things at once just from those three stats. Four attack, four def, 100 HP. It's fantastic. And not really much left to say on that besides four attack on the archer is a lot. Let's be honest. Four attack on the Doombo is going to get you... It's going to get you places. Let's just, let's be honest. If you're going to crash a tomb and you're going to FFA it, bring an archer with Pyrrha and Debo and a quat and a spectral armor, you're set for life. You're going to get drops for days. <laughs> and that's why Pyrrha is everybody's all-around friend. But if you like Nile, you like Nile. Wear Nile. I like Pyrrha. I'm, I'm going to wear Pyrrha. Oh, all right, well, that was a mouthful. All right, that that's my opinion on the rings and what they're good for. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I apologize if this video was a little, um, like, lower quality, like, budget editing-wise, uh, making this off of my regular recording software and not really an editing program, so I apologize for that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and what you want me to do a guide on next, and check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. All right, see you.